What's up? This is Richie and Jamie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel. And today we thought we'd show you guys how we put together our camp kitchen bin. Let's get into it. All right, so camp kitchen bin. It's winter time. We're taking our inventory that we do every year. We take everything out. We clean everything up, throw out some stuff that got a little gnarly, <laughs> some stuff that we don't use anymore, and we just neatly put it back into the bin. That way, come springtime or even you know a nice uh, warmer week in late winter, we decide to go camping, we're ready to roll. So Jamie put together our little inventory. She wrote it all down, and we kind of organized all our stuff, but we thought that we'd show you everything that we're gonna put into this kitchen bin, so that way, Maybe it'll give you some ideas to put together a bin of your own. This is the best way to handle your camping gear. Mm -hmm. By far. Yeah, we have three bins. One's for kitchen, one's for sleeping, and one's for just like miscellaneous type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, this is pretty much our most important bin. It's got our fire sources. It's got our cooking gear. Coffee. Coffee, utensils. Clean up. Clean up. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here, man. We always just make a little iPhone note for each bin. Just take take note of all our inventory, write everything down, and that way, you know, when we do this, we can remember what's in there, what needs to be replaced, this, that, and we suggest you do the same. Just try to keep it really organized. And that's what's sweet about these bins is it helps you stay really organized. So yeah. what do you got first? Number one is our Coleman stove. Yeah, Coleman two burner stove. They run around 50 bucks. We don't take it all the time, but it's really, really good to have. We really love to cook on the fire, but when that's not possible, this thing gets it done for sure. Mm -hmm. Two burner stove, 50 bucks-ish. Obviously, I'll link everything I can find in the description as usual, but this thing's great, man. Even if you're cooking on the fire, side dishes. Yes. Right? Like rice. Rice and, and all that vegetables. stuff. Vegetables. Yeah, yeah this really is good great for that. We did a cooking video last year or something like that. You can check out a link at the end of this one. And we used this thing the entire time. We, mm -hmm. we cooked for like five or six hours for that video. Yeah. And we only went through like three quarters of one propane tank maybe. Yeah, it was really impressive. It was actually. on for six hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> so getting like a two pack, I think you can get those. They're like $10 for a two pack. Yeah. Yeah. The propane tanks. Further down the list. You'll see this in a second, but this is what they look yeah, like. Yeah. And you can get refillable ones of those by the way too. And that's mm -hmm. pretty sweet. We All got right. Next? next on our list is our cast iron. Now the cast iron we've mentioned a million times before. It is just essential for cooking in the outdoors. Yeah. What do we got here? Both. So first we have our griddle. Mm -hmm. And then we have our skillet. We'll slide that back there. That griddle's awesome for everything from, oh man, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Those uh, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches yeah. we make, or like just laying out a bunch of bacon, pancakes, steaks. We've done so much, either so or. Much. The, yeah. the skillet or the griddle mm -hmm. are just so sweet to have. That's the best, <laughs> cooking on the fire. You bring a normal Teflon pan or whatever out there, it's, it's gonna it's melt. Ruined. Yeah. That, that's just totally gonna melt off. A little soot on your hands there. A little soot, that's yeah. okay. All right, next we have our portable stove oh, and right. our kettle. Oh yeah, we've mentioned this a lot. So this is our little our little backpacking setup. But yeah, you might know this little guy from other videos. Yeah. This thing's awesome. <laughs> that's probably our most like prized possession in this whole thing. Yeah, it's crazy. These tiny little stoves are just amazing. They're great for backpacking style trips, hikes, everything, but we throw it in there. Sometimes you don't want to bring that big, big stove or use yeah. that. And we'll just little boil some water for coffee, whatever. We go with our little backpacking stove, so yep. that's sweet. To boil the water, we have our kettle. Mm -hmm. Little teapot. And then this is just a collection of smaller pots. pots that we can put on top of that stove. A little camp cooking kit. Yeah. Nothing crazy, man. We don't bring, that's it. That's all we bring as far as like pots and pans. Yeah, no, that's it. Unless we're deciding like we're gonna make like something big, mm -hmm. like a bigger stew or sauce or right. something where you're gonna need that or yeah. um, spaghetti or yeah. something, but that's But rare. essentials wise, I mean, this has us covered for every type of possibility. Yeah, pretty much. No fire, we can still cook. Mm -hmm. Fire, we can cook. We get trapped somewhere yeah. and we have to- Cook on, how many, we've done it a couple cook times. Cook on the fly, we can do it. Side of the road. Yep. A couple times we busted out that little backpack you still right on the side of the road. Yep. And we made like a cup of noodles, oh, yeah. I remember, yeah. mac and cheese yep. one time, right on the side of the road. Yep, exactly. It's good to have, man. 
Um, and then sort of to go with all of that, next on our list, is our take these for you. propane. Oops. That's a two two of them. Two for. This one goes with our Coleman stove. Yeah. These are propane butane mix canisters, which run our little backpack, backpack stove. stove. Am, am I putting this in the right place? I don't want you to be like, no, that's good. not where it goes. <laughs> Next up, fire starters. Fire. Yeah, I thought so. Just have a nice, easy lighter and some strike on box matches. So it's great to have. Yep. So now we're pretty much covered here. That thing work? Check it out, it man. Make sure it's not empty. Yeah. yeah. You can see it on the side. Yeah. It's filled. Little things like that. Once a year, when you're doing this, does that lighter work? Mm -hmm. You got enough matches? You got enough fuel in your tanks? Right. Are they light? Are they heavy? All that stuff matters, man, because then, you know, next time you go, you are confident you got everything ready to roll. Exactly. Next, we have our fire gloves. That's pretty. Simple, and they good are to have. Gnarly. They are a little gnarly. <laughs> Maybe we should have bought some new ones this year. We've had yeah. these for a while. We could probably get some new ones. But when you're cooking on those cast irons, man, they get so so hot. You really got to be careful. I'll even wear these when I'm adjusting the fire. Sometimes, like I've burnt the hair straight off my hands yeah. like several times. <laughs> Uh, but these are just awesome to have when you're handling all those cast irons. Um, next, we have our cutting board and cooking utensils. Okay. So let's get our cutting board. For a cutting board, we just use this really, really thin plastic one. Was a little dirty. A little bit. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Beat up. A little beat up. But how much space does that take? Yeah. That's your cutting board. Yeah. So it just right down on the side there. I mean, mm -hmm. I love like nice wooden cutting boards, stuff like that. Like we have. At home but it's just it's not really necessary you no. just need a surface to cut on and that that really gets it done exactly that's that gone like slid that slid right in yeah that's awesome no space whatsoever that's sweet we got so some we utensils these utensils and those by you oh uh, these are um this one's for cleaning like yeah. a clean brush a little can opener and then we got our spoons our uh, spatula tongs and some uh either hot dog or marshmallow roasting stick yep that's cool. Yeah, we tied them all up with this. Yeah, we have like a, what is that thing called? I don't know. It's like a wire. It, it's, I originally bought it for tying fishing rods together, Yeah. but it, it works good. Here, un undo it a little bit. I'll try to find them on Amazon. It's just like this coated wire that bends really nice so you can just kind of keep stuff like that organized super easy. Especially the, the tongs that we have, they like open up really wide, so these keep them Oh yeah, a little close space together. saver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put that down in there. All right. Is it time for knives yet? Do we get to knives? It is time for knives. Yes. <laughs> I bring a different knife every single time. Sometimes I'm using my pocket knife. Sometimes I'm bringing different ones. Right now, I think this was the one that's in there, and it's good to have. It's just a uh, fixed blade knife, helps us cook. It's one of my favorites but it just helps us, you know, chop vegetables, stuff like that. Really good to have, keep it super sharp. And she's just always in there. I have another one that's almost like a folding chef's knife too. I'll link a few good options in the description, but you always wanna have a good knife in your kitchen bin to help you cook or whatever you need. Um, you know, chopping veggies out there, man, you gotta do it. Definitely. But we'll bust out the pocket knife sometimes. Oh, I mean, yeah. you use what you have, but yeah. it's just nice to have at least one for sure got a good knife in there. And use now as the time to sharpen your knife. Oh, if yeah. you haven't in Definitely. a while. Sure I love that knife sharpener. I mentioned that in that gifts video. Mm -hmm. That thing's sweet, man. Yeah, that's great. If you're camping all season long and yeah, not for sure. sharpening it. Great point, great now's point. That's a great time. Definitely. Okay, what's next? Our AeroPress and French press. Okay. French press, definitely a money maker for us over the years. Really good coffee. And then lately we've thrown in the AeroPress as well. It doesn't take up much space, so we throw in both. Sometimes we'll kind of go one or the other, mm -hmm. but I kind of like having both. I mean, they don't take up that much space. We no. have the room in here. Yeah. And sometimes you want AeroPress coffee and sometimes you want French press coffee. Exactly. You know, you have multiple people with you. If it's just you or two people, you can get away with the AeroPress, mm -hmm. whatever, but you well, know. and this too, you can bring with you, like if we are camping somewhere and then we you go, go on, on a hike, hike exactly. we can bring the AeroPress, but the French press, we can just keep it camp. Yeah. And then sometimes too, it's nice to have like a bigger way to make coffee because remember that one time we ran into that family? Yes. And they were like super sweet and like we wanted to have coffee with them. And if we just had the AeroPress, it would have been 
A little weird. Yeah, we would have been like, give us 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll bring it, you but it's know. nice to make like a bigger pot of coffee, you know, for multiple people. So it's Put nice. Put on the table, share it. Yeah, you know, they don't. Just... It doesn't take much, much space at all. Yeah. We're not even close to filling this thing. And we've no. got a lot of stuff in here. Right? Yeah. Next, we have aluminum foil and plastic wrap. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's just gold. Oh, our number one. We got a new, new box. Brand new this year. <laughs> That's a big box yeah. too. That's insane. This we used heavy. the last one. Yeah. The the last box we used it. Yeah. Costco. Yeah. Costco. Get a big, big, big roll of that. This is camping gold. Gold. You do everything with this. All your cooking, all kinds of stuff, man. If you know camping, you know aluminum yeah. foil. We cook meals just straight up in that sometimes. Right. Well, so and you, I mean, you can use aluminum foil for safety. You could use it for mm -hmm. burning sage. You could. I mean. Yep. You, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. It's aluminum foil. You can make bowls out of it. You can exactly. make plates out of it. You can make utensils out of it if yeah. you're sick yeah. enough. It's true. But yeah, you can do anything with that. Gotta um, have it. And then just some plastic wrap. This is good for if you're cooking, like sometimes we'll cook sides and then we just want it covered to keep the bugs away from it. Yeah. So, or you're cooking something and saving it for the next day, throw yeah. it back in the cooler or yeah. whatever it is. But, it's just good. Just yeah. good might idea. as well have it. All right, Most next we we've got our plates, bowls, cups, and mugs. So we take four plates, four bowls, all reusable, hard plastic, and the cups. And they all match in color because she has problems. <laughs> I got new ones this year. I was yeah. very excited. She recently went out and bought new ones. Our last ones were dark green and like a gray, and I think she snapped and wanted all <laughs> the same color because that bothered her. A lot. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, and then we have our... Oh yeah. Mugs. Definitely. These are great for a coffee. Just the Yeti tumblers, man. They'll keep it warm. Hours. 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 hours warm, hours. cold. You can put soup in here and go on a hike and like yeah. have hot soup after your hike or while you're on your hike. With our long spoons. Where are our long spoons? Right oh, okay. <laughs> but you could totally, uh, totally just eat right out of these if you want. They're like little thermoses. Yeah, they're great. It's pretty sweet. Gotta have those Yeti tumblers, boy. And then lastly, we have a bag of reusable cutlery, and then our long handled spoon and spork. There was a recent comment that someone said, who doesn't love sporks? Me. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're Taco Bell's like worst invention ever. <laughs> I love sporks. And then I think we're just about done. Garbage bags. Paper towels and garbage bags. So we got a couple new rolls of these, Pateria. Yeah. Those just slide right on top and then this is such a big deal to have make sure you have a good amount of garbage bags help you keep everything clean i've said it a million times never leave food out never leave anything out really anything yeah you cook you make a mess you clean it up you get that stuff off to the trash yep don't ever leave it out overnight after you're done cooking get it get it out yep i think we're just about there last but not yeah. least let's see one more last but not least our bundle of white sage nice Gotta keep that in there. Yeah, we just use that obviously to keep bugs away, especially when we're eating dinner. You know, using the headlamps, sun's going down, those bugs will start to get you, so. Yeah. And that's it, that's just really all it is, but there's a good amount of stuff in there, but it's pretty clean, it's pretty organized. Sometimes we'll swap in out, you know, if we, uh, we don't want this or we want this, and yeah. you know, we still have plenty of room in here. Plenty of room. It's pretty yeah. basic, man. Pretty basic essential stuff. So there you go. That's everything that we put into our camp kitchen bin. And now for the rest of the year, we can feel confident that we know we have everything because the most important part about this bin is that you know the inventory of it. You wrote it down, you know what's in there. So when you're going to take off on your next trip, there's no, did you bring the aluminum foil? Do you have the lighter? Do you have the stove? Do you have, of course you do. Cause all you have to say is, did you bring the camp kitchen bin? Yeah. <laughs> yep, got it. You're good. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part about a system like this. I will link everything that I can, as always, in the description. These in particular, I'm not sure if they're on Amazon or not. We got these at Home Depot. I've seen them at Costco recently. Yeah. Not that expensive, man, but these are just, you have to have bins. Yeah. It is so essential to your organization. Time saver, stress saver. Mm -hmm. We know now. We know what's in here. Yeah. That's it. And now we still have to organize our sleeping bin for this year, but camp kitchen bin, game over. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. It doesn't matter if we go camping tomorrow or six months from now, we're set. So that wraps it up, man. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every single week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Later. Pretty cool.
Now well, we know. Yeah. Good job. Now we're gonna do the sleeping bin. <laughs> If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching. See ya.